he lost his entire immediate family within a seven year span, his daughter, his wife, and then his son. Happy Tuesday, guys. It's been a little bit since I've been on here, a hot minute. Took a six month hiatus, but now I'm back. I'm excited to share all that God has done in the six months, but today I wanna to focus on a dear friend of ours, Mark Garner. He was my husband's best friend. His nickname was Commander, great guy. He truly was a great guy. He endured more loss, more tragedy than anyone that me or my husband know combined. And more than anyone in this world that I know, he had the right to be angry. He had the right to be bitter. He had the right to be depressed. Can you imagine losing your entire immediate family and then getting the diagnosis of cancer? He recently lost his battle with cancer and at his memorial celebration of life service, it was the most beautiful, the most wonderful thing. As person after person got up and shared about what Mark did for them, how he touched their lives. And the theme across the entire service was be about others. Mark was always about others. And despite all of his loss, all the tragedy in his life, he always pointed people back to God. And instead of saying, why me? He would give his testimony and he would say, why not me? Who are we to complain? when God gave his only son for us. So my question to you today is this, are you depressed, are you anxious? Maybe you should change that thought in your mind from why me to why not me and focus on all the blessings that you have and then go out and find someone who is worse off than you and be about them, help them. That was Mark's key, be about others. He was always a joy, he was always laughing right up into the end and he was surrounded by friends and family that loved him. In fact, they were turning people away on the day that he transitioned to heaven. How beautiful. Be about others. You too can be one different choice away from a better tomorrow.